Hello, hello, tea quilters. Welcome to the Tea Quilts Live Sew and Chat. It is Saturday, January 14th, 2023, and it is 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope everybody is having a great Saturday thus far. And I'm trying to pause my screen here. And then I need to get out of chat and go back in. <laughs> it, it, it's just how it works <laughs> for some strange reason. All right. I have extra stuff on my desk. I already have a lot of stuff up here. And I got extra stuff because I am in the process of sorting stuff. So... I'm putting stuff over here that needs to be put up, but I'm not over here to put it up yet. So uh, I got my phone here that shouldn't be in here giving me notifications. And uh, let me clear that. Uh, I'm going to cut these notifications off for right now. <laughs> because... Um, I have too many. <laughs> this device, that device, this device is too many. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I... <clears throat> had this pattern here. It fell out the package. Just sit that right there for now. And I knocked a half square triangle off that I'm going to be using in my boho hearts quilt. <laughs> It's one of those days, guys. I had the meeting today with the So So Busy Quilt Gill, and uh, it was a good meeting. I've done absolutely nothing productive. We had um, show and tell, and it was really good show and tell today. A lot of people had worked on a lot of stuff over the holiday, so we had a long show and tell. Uh, Norma had some antique quilts that somebody quilt tops that somebody had given her and every last one of them were interesting so it was a really good day they had my undivided attention so i didn't even cut any crown royal bags or pieces so that i could stitch on that but i do have the bowl cozies that i have to finish for my mom i don't need this here let me move this <laughs> and i just dropped a block somewhere <clears throat> these are my test blocks. I'll just put those over there. Um, <laughs> um, so let's see, first of all, who's in the chat. I'm not gonna, I'm not in a hurry to do like speed sewing. I just want to get some bow cozies made so that I can uh, get them to my mom. Um, there is no set amount that I need to get to her. So uh, I just want her to have the experience of using one. So that's the reason why I want to get them done. Plus they're late because I gave hers away. Okay. <laughs> How crazy can you be giving stuff away, right? So it's a lot of comments in here. I'm cutting the machine on here. June Hansen, Phyllis G, Sheila Gage, Vivian Calvi. Denise so Patch 33 uh, Sue GSD, Maddie Barnum, uh, like so like that, Joe Carmel, Perkins, Maddie Barnum, uh, Cynthia Maria Field, Um, I was in, uh, I think I put seven o'clock instead of eight o'clock by accident on my YouTube thing. I think this one was my fault, just rushing. So sorry about the people that came at, uh, seven looking for me. <clears throat> Miss Topaz is here. Mary F. Delia Castro Short. Uh, look like Zondra Oldham was in here. Did I miss her name? I don't know. Maybe it was somebody earlier today that I'm missing those names. Uh, Sandy Agger. 
the yeah, Zonder Odom, Carrie Richard, Guess Who Nancy, and um, let's see, Deborah Quilt, Betsy Layton, Jonah Crutchfield, Brenda Foley, I think I said, Rhonda O. Um, trying to make sure I get everybody. Don Cunningham, Darcy Savelli is also reminding you all to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new here. So let me do that. <laughs> um, See Joy Creations. Um, Brenda saying she just cut her color works panel. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, I think she's talking about the quilt that I showed you all before. Uh, that panel quilt, that's what I think she's showing, uh, talking about. Uh, I don't have a picture of it in here and I gave that quote away. Jonah says, I bought a retreat special Juki from So Yeah, I'm afraid to even take it out the box. I can't be buying more fabric laughing out loud. <laughs> right. You better get it out the box. Make sure it's working, girl. Hurry up and get it out the box. Phyllis G is here. Tiffany of Tiffany's Quilting Life. Jason Lewis is here. Happy Saturday, Miss T and all T quilters. Shirley Peters is here. Vicki Lemire. Claudette Bettis. Um, Judy, Judy, trying to make sure I get everybody, Teresa McCormick, Quilt Gal, T, did you ever get my Christmas card? No, ma'am, I did not, and I've been thinking about that, I'm like, I have no idea what happened with that, uh, very strange, Thank you, Tiffany. She's giving you all the link if you want to also join the Facebook group. Appreciate that. And you do have uh, three questions that you need to answer or have a friend in the group or <laughs> already in Tiffany's group or somebody else's group. I just I just don't let you in if, if uh, you don't answer the questions. Just trying to make sure it's not a spammer. Brenda Perkins is here. T. Roberts is here. Linda DeVito. Remo JS. Uh, let's see who else. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of you all. Shannon Way, and I saw you today. So thank you so much for your support. Um, I went and got shirt out the storage today. <laughs> Everything else is ready to go. Uh, Harriet Susan Franklin. Um. Carrie's going to bed, so she can't keep her eyes open. So good night, Carrie. Thank you so much for coming in. Cynthia Washington is here from the DMV. Linda Denton says hello. And see, you have 22 on your date tonight. Okay, so I that's another thing I did. I was in a hurry today. Um, I'll change it afterwards. Thank you, Linda, for that. Because it would have taken me a minute to find it. Uh, Beverly Franklin saying good evening, and Darcy says, I see that <laughs> she needs to update the year. Yes, I do. <laughs> I uh, can't do it live, of course, so I have to wait until it goes off the live, but thank you so much. Andrea Banks also is here saying hi. So hello, everybody. I hope everybody is doing great. Um, so in chat tonight, again, I'm going to be working on those bow cozies. <laughs> I did not cut any more. I thought I was going to cut some more, but I got nine of them here that I've already done all, I think it was 72 darts. <laughs> That's the most tedious part. And so if I can get half of these done would be great so that I can give some to my mom's house. And then I also have my niece house that needs some as well so that's my goal uh for these nine and i guess i'll be making me some more i thought i had extras but i do not <laughs> uh, liz wilson is here saying good evening everyone 
and quilts by Carmel is back saying hey GGT and my fellow T quilters yes Kara Bates is saying hey T hey Kara welcome to the channel I haven't seen your name before so yeah so it's a lot going on <clears throat> for new people that are here almost Two weeks ago, Monday will make two weeks. We just started the Sew Along for the Boho Hearts. I'm just saying this because the final books that I'm, I've am i ordered has come in Friday and I've been shipping out orders. So I've been busy ordering stuff and shipping stuff. So if you are interested in joining a Sew Along, this Sew Along goes from January 2023 until the end of July 2023. And we have assignments that are given to us every other week. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's very progressive. I'm giving you, like, options on things that you can do. Some of the blocks in here are applique blocks. And if you don't want to do those, you don't have to. You're going to make your quilt your own, going to make it unique. So I'm giving other tips for that as well. The book plus shipping. And I also have a Facebook group that is for the people that have purchased their books from me. And there is one other way you can get in. But that's what your $36 covers for this. Uh, you Cash app would be easiest for you, me to pay that way, for you to pay that way. And then email me your mailing address and I'll get it shipped to you. I got maybe... I bought extra books. I think I bought 10 extra. I probably got about five left, if I'm not mistaken, uh, before I came into the live. So if you're interested, now is the time to join. Even if you're joining now, you'll be one assignment behind. Monday will make two, uh, a second assignment being done. But it's not something that uh, you have to work on at our pace. But I feel like you can still get caught up because. I'm working on an optional version, which doesn't have a lot of piecing to it, but it's still a second version, and I'm able to keep up with both of them at this time. So, again, I'm just making sure people know throughout the month of January, because I probably will not be accepting new people into the group <laughs> as far as answering beginner questions and stuff like that, because I don't want to keep going back to the first um, step of the process. That's what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. So if you're really interested in wanting to do the boho heart quilt, now would be the time to join. Not many more days left in January. And I'm not ordering any more books. So I have, like I said, I think it's five left. I didn't count. <laughs> I know I had ordered 10 extra from what I needed from people that said they wanted them. And I ordered 10 extra and I've been still getting uh, orders for the books. So just so you know that. And, um, Joe Carmel sent in her optional block and I opened it up because I didn't know what extra was in her bag. So I opened it up and we were in Zoom and uh, Joe Carmel, which is quilts by Carmel in here. It's very generous, and she doesn't. Um, she says she's giving out scraps, but I don't think she really knows what a scrap is because <laughs> it's a lot of yardage. And then she did tell me because she said scraps on the bag, and then she said she was uh, decluttering. <clears throat> so a lot of people are doing that, re uh, doing their storage things and stuff like that during the month of January. I've been trying to clean off the back of this and I haven't had but one day in here. Well, two. I did two days. And I also cleaned off over here like all my new purchases were placed over here. So I've got everything sorted. It's just going to make more of a mess until I can, you know, get it all sorted because there's no need for me to be running a notion over here and fabric over here and then come back with another notion over here. So I'm kind of uh, got stacks of things in here that I'm working around right now. So uh, I appreciate that. But I wanted to just share some of the fabric. She knows that I'm doing one of my Bohart um, styles in K-Facet fabrics. And so she just sent some of uh, some of her scrap pieces of cave and or pieces that she's 
not going to use because <laughs> this is a fat quarter. <laughs> I think I haven't opened it all the way up, but I'm just trying to let you all see some of it. Gorgeous colors on these uh, leaves. Just beautiful. And we all like to see fabric. <laughs> so another piece. This is one side. You turn it to the other side and bam. This is one of those, you know, you can be doing a lot of fussy cut with and let the fabric do the work, you know. Again, another fat quarter. <clears throat> Sometimes when you buy fat quarter bundles, you may not like every piece of fabric that's in the bundle. Um, but me, if it's a collection, I tend to use it anyway, whether I like it or not. This one's uh, different. I hadn't seen this one, I don't think. Very nice. So I will be incorporating these into my boho heart quilt. Even more. Oh, my goodness. This one's pretty. Right there. And then got even bigger bloom on this side. Just gorgeous. So thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Joe Carmel of Quilts by Carmel. This one's a... Uh, Nope, still a fat quarter. I thought this one was a scrap at first. And this one, I have, I don't think I have seen the next one coming up. I haven't seen this one. So this is going to be really good on those where I'm trying to change, um, uh, like doing frames around and things like that, where I need a, a specific stop pattern. So it's this one just I don't even have to undo that when I have some of this and then this one here I have some in other colorways I've been using so it's nice to have a different color and then this I had never purchased this or did I I don't know I've seen this print but I'm not sure if I had it I think somebody else had this bought it because they were going to do stack and whack with it, or they did stack and whack with it at the retreat. And it wasn't uh, Joe Carmel. It was somebody else. Um, so, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. And this is a Philip Jacobs print. And I'm using anything. Uh, there's, like, three designers under, uh, is it Free Spirit? Because they, they keep moving the who they're under. Uh, it's called watermelons on that one. I don't know, but whatever line they're with, I think it's free spirit. They have about three designers that do the same thing. And then this one was one that was a funny print. Uh, Joe knows that I like African prints that have eyes in it. And so she sent me this because it resembled eyeballs. So I don't know if this one is, I don't think it's a K fabric, K facet line or free spirit line. And let me see if I see anything on it. Nope, it's the part of the fat quarter that doesn't have the salvage information on it. So that was pretty funny, and it's cute. <laughs> so thank you for the fabric. I really, really appreciate that. Um, what's even funnier is <laughs> I went to the Bernina store. I had went to the Bernina store in December because I lost my spool caps. Whoops. Okay, I just lost that one too. <laughs> I have not like really, really lost my spool caps. But what I did is I have a bag somewhere that I have not come across, even though I'm sorting stuff. So I put it in that special place where I had some bags of things that I took my main Bernina feet, like my, uh, like on a retreat and then I don't know where that bag is and it has like my nylon foot in it it has my threads different size threads full caps and so I went to Bernina in December I got tired of not having them and so I went to Bernina in December and bought a new one <laughs> so and I wanted also because my the, the mechanism you use to put your needle in, that's in that same bag, okay? You know, them special places we come up with. So they did. They had everything in stock except for this little special screw. Now, I was really surprised it was only $5, which means it probably only cost about a dollar or 50 cents to make. 
because Bernina stuff normally is more costly than everybody else. So I was surprised with that. And I was almost out the store until the lady told me. She said, you know, everything in the store is 15% off. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I just, at first, I was just walking around. And I'm like, you know, I'll just pacify her. And then I remembered as I'm working on my boho heart quilt that I need fabrics that I can transition from one fabric to the next, either being lighter values or more tone on tonish type fabrics, but I still wanted all of my main prints to be uh, K facet prints. And so, yeah, so I got a few of those. This is kind of like purple dots on pink, very weird. And it barely shows here. It barely shows in person though. So I got that pink. The same thing in red, but it's just more of a tone on tone. You can see it a little bit better. Might be the angle of the lights too. And so then the other color background I got is this one just for transition again. So I wasn't trying, every time I'm buying uh, cave stuff, I'm buying all the big flowery stuff. I have some of the dots and stripes, but not enough to get me through this project without struggling. So I decided, uh, I bought a quarter yard of eight pieces. So I ended up buying two yards of fabric so that I could have some contrast. And then it was so funny when I opened up Joe Cormel's pack and she had sent me some. So again, just stuff to transition from some of the busier big prints to the smaller uh, prints. And stuff that when I cut it up, I won't lose the design as well. And then this is the last one. And I started to get that real popular black and white print, but I'm like, I didn't want to put a whole lot of black and white in it. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this one. So I just decided not to do it. So we'll see. <laughs> T said, oh, that was Phyllis. That's what it was. Because I know I remember seeing that fabric. It was Phyllis G uh, saying she had that fabric. Um, Because uh, I helped her cut it. That's why I knew I had seen that fabric. But I didn't realize at the time that I was helping her that it was a K-facet print. I had never seen that before. All right. <laughs> I know I'm not crazy. I tend to know fabrics when I see them again or know that I've seen it before. Oh, the, so the eyes are Tula. Jason says that's Tula. I'm thinking this one right here is Tula. Because it, it, if it is, I'll take it out and put it in my Tula stash. Let me go back to the bottom. Um, um, let's see. <clears throat> so I'm trying to go back now and get more people to come in. I mean, that came in here, just welcome them in. Make sure I haven't missed anybody. Karen Ravis says, can someone tell me what level quilters this would be? I, anything to me, Jen Kingwell is going to be more of your intermediate uh, quilting, but it, and the reason is because it's kind of like a puzzle to put the actual blocks together because it's a sampler quilt. So that's why I would say that, but I have been trying to give people as many tips. I've done three videos, uploaded cheat, I'm uploading cheat sheets and trying to help people as much as I can. So if you can read and will read a lot of us can read but we don't read and so you get you start asking questions that have been answered or people get confused but i've already kind of put that information out there for you i've shown you if you only want to do one background fabric i'm talking about that i'm even giving you a cheat sheet for that so it depends on your overall skill level if you are brand new to quilting maybe this isn't for you if you are a competent quilter where you have done a quilt or two that's not just 
a jelly roll race or something like that, if you've done some piecing, know your quarter inch seam, then you could probably get through this. There are going to be some tiny blocks. And I even give options for things that you can do for that as well. So it just depends on your skill level. And I can't tell somebody whether they can do that or not. Deb S. is here from North Carolina. She says, she said, cold, North Carolina. Great to catch you live. Well, welcome. Patsy Johnson is here saying hi, friends. Uh, Zandra says, this is for all levels of culture from beginners up. And that's kind of what her book says. But I think she does. Australia teaches maybe different than we do here in the USA. So she doesn't give the fine details that I think you would get if it was a book written by a person from USA and it would be a whole lot thicker than what it is. So, so yeah, so people talking about how pretty the fabric is and how generous of Joe. She says she had too much green and none matching colors. <laughs> yeah, she's got a match when she makes stuff. Um. <laughs> Working on section two of Boho Heart. That's what Remo's working on. Uh, Sheila Willis is here. My brother is here saying everyone stay safe still watching football. And you too now. <laughs> um, very nice fabric bundle she sent. Yes, it is. Uh, Phyllis says, T, I had to uh, read that one already. Denise is reminding people to hit that thumbs up. Thank you, ma'am. Um, love the fabric. Okay, retreaters, we have 528 days until the best retreat ever. <laughs> That's from Sue. Thank you, Sue. Arlene Butler is here saying hope all is well. Wash your hands saying hi, everyone. And uh, Rhonda Barlow says hi, T and everyone. And Janet Cahill's here saying uh, hello, everyone, as well. All right. Um. Oh, there was a couple other things I want to show you. I got those books in. And the people that were at retreat, look what I got. <laughs> Well, looky, looky, looky what I got. <laughs> I'm going to take the paper off of this. <laughs> I don't normally take plastic off in here because I haven't, you know, I wait till I get it put up. But looky, looky, do you all remember that Tucker made the stack and whack with this fabric here? Well, I bought an entire boat. I think it's 15 yards. Let me make sure. Is this covered up? <laughs> Whoops, just dropped my phone. Yeah, it's 15 yards. He did stack and whack with this. And when he originally came out with it, I'm like, well, it's already kind of dissected, you know. But it actually turned out really pretty. But I ended up buying a whole boat of 108. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on the back of uh, the quilt that... Um, Joe Cormel gave me a quilt <laughs> at retreat, and I'm going to put this on the back of that. And then, you know what? I might use some of this and stack and whack it. Isn't that just gorgeous? <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't believe I found this fabric. Bought the entire boat. It took me, I don't know, since retreat, because I came back looking for it right away. It took me since retreat to get it. I had ordered it a long time ago, and it took them this long to get this back in stock and um, get it to me. Hey, Patricia Colusio. Um, <laughs> Jason say, look at God. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so I can't wait to start using some of this. But I knew the people at retreat would... Um, uh, remember this print and know what Tucker did with it. And I'm hitting my mic because this is so heavy. I can't, I have to lay it on my chest. But I'm just going to sit it here. I'm not going to even try to put it up. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> it is heavy. 
15 yards of 108. Don Cunningham is saying, wow. <laughs> uh, Sheila D says, hello from Wet Temecula, California. Uh, and Phyllis G go, oh, wow, right. <laughs> it took me forever to find that fabric. Uh, let's see. Liz Wilson says, that's a very nice print. And Delia says, I have to have some of that fabric. Very, very pretty. I will sell some of it. I'm not going to sell all of it. I'm not going to sell a lot of it. But I will. if you want some, just email me. And I see that Delia is in here first. So you'll be first, girl. <laughs> um it's windham fabrics oh no it's no it's not it's riley blake which is why i didn't see it because i've told you all over and over again i really don't follow riley blake and i think when she first came out her fabric wasn't her lines weren't to my style but i'm like okay i'm gonna have to quit sleeping on this riley blake but um this is really gorgeous it's called um imagine and it's this color is rainbow um i think it retail it retails at 20 one dollars a yard is what this this costs 21 dollars a yard and it's 108 it's not your 45 so let me make sure it says 108 on the boat but i like to make sure and it's a tall boat and it's four layers, so it is 108. Just want to make sure. <clears throat> but real pretty. <laughs> yeah, and that's also going to go on the back of my boho hearts. That's I didn't mind buying the boat because I'm like, oh my gosh, I already know I'm going to use this. So, yeah. And Melissa says, oh, my, that's a lot of fabric. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. How much was that whole boat of fabric? Like I said, it's $21, uh, $21 a yard. Wait a minute. Did Miss T go shopping without me? Uh, I went to Collinsville to go pick up my Bernina parts. So I didn't even come over to St. Peter's. So, yes, I did because you and Jason left me. But I wasn't planning on getting anything anyway. But I did. I, after I got in the store and they had 15% off, it's like, I need some case that are light. So, yes, I did, Kevin. Uh, Kara goes, wow, I love it. <laughs> um, I think I just said the name of the fabric again. It's Riley Blake called Imagine. Uh, this fabric is rainbow. Uh, Lily S saying hi all. I want to try making stacking wag baby quilt, but can't find appropriate fabric. Would anyone have any suggestions? I have videos on my YouTube channel, T Quilts, where you are, and it. I have a playlist that is just for stacking wag, and uh, I have about at least three or four videos showing you with mirrors what type of fabrics will stack and whack and what type of fabrics will not stack and whack very well. And I'll let you see it for yourself uh, in the camera viewing of the mirror. So that will be great. I think I got you covered on stack and whack. I got quite a few videos there. I got a whole series on stack and whack also where I'm cutting from start to finish. And then I have another video where I go through my entire stash of stack and whack fabrics to show you how they look. So uh, the first, the oldest two videos are very interesting because there's some things you think wouldn't work that will. And then I also did a third video where I just showed you my entire stash of stack and whack fabrics. And I even pulled some of them out because I didn't like how they looked in the mirror. So, but you'll be surprised what'll work for a stack and whack and what won't. And who you're making it for, because like even if you could even use thin fabric to make it. Patricia saying it's been a hot minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wash your hands, says Kevin's in his feelings. Right. But last week, him and Jason went shopping without me. Okay. And they're going to have an to send me a photo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, Joe Carmel, email me. Uh, like I said, let me see. 
and I'll see what I'm willing to get rid of. And I'll go back and see if I can uh, get some more too. If people really want it, uh, I had ordered this. Um, wash your hands says the fabric is expensive and I disagree. Um, um, I disagree because regular fabric now is costing $13 plus a yard now. And if I can get a 108 a yard cut, if I can say that's just say fabric is $13 a yard, I buy three yards, that's $39. If I buy a one yard cut of fabric, that's $21. I'm almost saving half. I, I told you all about that with grunge. It's like you can buy the grunge backing a lot cheaper sometimes if they don't have it on sale or you find it on one of those uh, shops that sell fabric at a cheaper price. Uh, it's cheaper to buy the, buy it by the 108. So I was happy to see it by 108. Um, cause even if I'm not using it for backing, um, I just send it, you know, I, I can still buy a yard and get three yards that I could use for a border or something. And I just bought one yard of fabric. So it just depends on what you're going to do with it and how you're going to use it. So, and like I said, it is $21 a yard. So, you know, it depends on your budget was expensive. <laughs> so. Um, okay, y'all just make sure that you email me um, if you want it. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> that's the price of the fabric. I had to pay for the fabric to get to me. And when I order fabric, I actually have to pay shipping on fabric as well. So, yeah. So. Darcy says, that is so nice. Everyone is going to want some, right? Uh, Zandra says, what is stacking whack? I've answered that question. If you got a stacking whack question, I have answered that uh, repetitively. Um, on my YouTube channel, like I said, I have a playlist. You just go to that playlist and you're going to get all the stuff you need to know about Stack and Whack. <laughs> and I'm calling it Stack and Whack because Bethany Reynolds came out with this technique as for, for quilters and called it Stack and Whack. Other people are calling it One Block Wonder. So another pattern calls it for Stack Posies. And they do a little bit different variation on it. And... But the one block wonder is really stacking whack. It's just another name that somebody else put to it when they made their book. Um, but yeah, I, t I will continue to call it stacking whack because that's how I learned it long, long time ago from Bethany Reynolds in her book that's called Magic Stacking Whack Quilts. Uh, cool. Joe says 21 is a good price for 108. I just paid 27 for Tula 108. Yes, I have paid over $30 for uh, some uh, black with color background because I really wanted it when we were on the shop hop. So $21 to me is not a bad price for that. And I think it's only because it's uh, Riley Blake's brand. Her fabric is a little bit cheaper, just a little bit cheaper than other manufacturers. And that's the only reason it's at 21. But I personally uh disagree with 108 uh that it being expensive it's uh, it's at a price that it should be um is it on sale at 21 in my opinion no um i like to get my 108s cheaper than that but if i want something i'm gonna get what i want why would i spend money and buy a 108 that's cheaper that i really don't like but then i'm gonna go <laughs> and buy it because it's cheaper. So I buy what I like and what I want within reason. <laughs> I tend to buy what I like and what I want. <laughs> yeah, it's not a 45 inch wide. So, and I'm not, I'm not trying to um, like lecture anybody about the price of fabric or anything like that. So I think she was mistaking it for 45 inch wide fabric. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I'll take it away. I did that by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm scrolling, uh, Delia, Delia, I do stuff like that. 
Um, June Hansen is here saying she's listening. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did that by accident. I just took it off, so it should be okay. So sorry about that. And I, oh, this bag. Uh, last Christmas gift was given out today at the So So Busy uh, meeting. And uh, uh, Deborah made some of these Scandinavian um uh, ornament. She had two different sizes. Well, she said she did three. I got two different sizes. Some people got the same size. So she just, I think she just randomly put them in the bags. I don't know. But these little Scandinavian, Scandinavian ornaments here, I can't, I'm feeling nasally again. I can barely get words out, guys. So here we go. Those two are pretty. This is a Christmas gift. She did like me. Just gave you everything. Christmas gift and your birthday gift for this year. Sometimes we just buy gifts in the month of January and just give them to you. Okay. And be done. So we don't have to worry about trying to bring a birthday gift for each person's individual month. And then she also <laughs> gave us these screwdrivers that I had already given to everybody in the group. But she said, you know what? People might need more than one. And then she also made Project Totes uh, as well. And I just two days ago when I was sorting stuff, pulled out the one that Claudette made for me. So I'm getting ready, happy to be using that, okay? But Deborah also made one of those for us. And then she has a notepad in it with the pencil, a mechanical, um, you know, the retractable pencil lead where you always have a nice point. So that's really pretty, too. And this is the fabric that she used. And I was telling Deborah, you know, every time I look at YouTube videos on these bags that um, they always use two or three different fabrics. And I really like how she just used one fabric. It doesn't take all of that. Um, and then when you use the second fabric, it's mostly covered up on the inside anyway. So it's just really nice that when you see the fabric, you know it's the same fabric and you're not trying to figure out what a fabric is because it got covered up when you put stuff in. So that was really cool. So that was the last thing I had to show today. <laughs> oh, one more thing. <laughs> Darcy sent me this book that I've already told you all about. This Dear Jen book by Jen Kingwell, Jen Kingwell Designs. And I go trying to buy templates for this. Do you know that there are no templates for this? This book is half templates. And there is a, a template acrylic set that you can buy. So I have to make all of these. So now I know why this um, book can be a little challenging for people. Because these blocks are very difficult blocks to make. So just look at this one page. And all these different angles and curves. That is not something that you can cut a lot of this with um, with a rotary cutter. I'm gonna, you can cut it with a rotary cutter, but you need a template. And I've learned from doing the, what's the name of that company? The paper piecing uh, pattern that I did, that poinsettia quilt, I learned from the instructions that you can also cut curves with a rotary cutter without, you know, you know, I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> I'm still going to be rotary cutting. <laughs> and Sheila says she loves the bag, loves snowmen. Yeah, that's one of my things I used to collect. I still got the stuff downstairs, but it's no longer in my curio <laughs> or china cabinet. I had, I had a china cabinet and a curio. I gave my daughter the curio. Um, so, yes. Miss T, I saw the templates for that quilt on eBay. I looked on um, Amazon, and in the comments section, people said that that quilt did not have templates. Now, I didn't go to her site. Maybe I need to go to her site and see if they are available, and then I'll go to eBay. But somebody said that there were no templates. And so I didn't even go check anywhere else. I just took, it was like a couple of people in the comment section saying that there were, were not any templates made for that. 
So, oh, well. Hey, Martha's Creative Life. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, and I'll just go through my emails and see what I have for fabric. And then I'll see if I need to uh, maybe order more. Dorsey says, I bought the book because I like it, but when I got it and seen the finished size, I knew it was too big for me. <laughs> I didn't even look at the, uh, oh, it's almost, it's like a queen size quilt, I think. Hold on. This quilt is 90 inches square and it doesn't even have a border. And I tend to make quilts that are 96 inches square for my queen size bed. So that'll work. I have not put a drop of oil on this machine so first things first i'm gonna or from the top like bernina jeff and i think that i'm going to be my bobbin is really low so i'm not gonna be stitching long i had cleaned it out and put it in here when i stitched on those crown royal bags trying to get the thread to run out and it never did run out these bernina large bobbins boy you can sew a long time so i tend to oil from the top until i change my bobbin but today i'm not gonna oil from the top from the bottom when i change because i already did it knowing that i put in a bobbin that was almost empty and i cleaned it out down there really good i'll put two drops just to make sure it gets where it needs to go Uh, good night, Vivian. Is that the version of her version, like her version? Um, I don't know. She just, it's just a sampler because I think she just likes sampler quilts. And she has other quilts that are samplers too. So I'm going to cut this thread back low so it's not up here. And um, my... This is actually clean. And I just got my crown royal blocks just sitting here. They're not doing anything. Hopefully, they will not be in the way. We'll see. All right. So we're just basically sewing on these bowls here. And um, yeah, I'm just got to pop in a few pins to hold my seam allowing these darts going opposite direction here. Um, Sheila D says, T, what about using a scan and cut or any cutting machine for the templates? I almost bought a scan and cut because you just put the page up there and it scans it and does it, does it. And it, the, I don't know, I don't know anybody that has a scan and cut to know if it's a really good pro product or not. I have the uh, Cameo electronic cutter. And it's not so simple to get shapes into that and have them come out the right size. But I don't know. Anybody got the um, Brother Scan and Cut? What model? I saw the CM350 or something like that. 350E. So it would be great. I thought about buying one. And that's a discontinued model. But I was thinking about buying it just to get started because... The new quilters edition of the Brother Scan and Cut, you're, you're spending almost $2,000 to get a cutting machine, and I ain't trying to do all of that. I, I, you know, I got other places I need to spend my money. So, uh, I just got through paying these Missouri uh, personal property tax. They trying to take you to the bank. I am not trying to spend $2,000. Okay, I need to increase my stitch length to three. Somewhere around there. 2.8 is good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a good idea, Sheila. I appreciate that. Rosalind H says, what pattern are you using for your crown royal? It's the beads by Jordan or chandelier quilts by Missouri Star are two of the names when it's put on point. 
It's a different block name if it's not put on point. So it's weird. I need to, I haven't looked at, it's not important for me to look up the block name in my block book. So I haven't, but yeah. Very simple block. Um. <clears throat> And this is the block here. And it's going to be put on point. So all the crown royals will be read upright when they're in the quilt. So that's what it looks like. I need to make 80. Mm, I don't forget again. Let's see. 85 blocks. That's what I need to make. 85, I'm making six inch blocks. And that makes about, let's see, I did bring the paper in here because somebody asked me before. 85 blocks. It's so little, y'all. I have to go over my glasses. And then it had a nerd and I didn't put the size on here. Uh, it was about 60 inches. That's it on the inside with 80 blocks that are 6 inches. Like that. <laughs> Uh, this is 85 blocks. So. <clears throat> I'm trying to make sure I answer everybody's questions. <laughs> Darcy says, I make templates for my boho heart out of cardstock paper. I scrapbook, so I have a lot of that in stock. So that's a good idea, too. Do you mean own one or taken out of the box? <laughs> Somebody that can give me some experience in whether to buy one or not would be nice, Sue. <laughs> that is too funny. Hey, Sue, look, if you don't want to take it out the box, guess who will take it out the box for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to experiment. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, I need more than just a standing in the store. And this is the thing, too. See, I hate people when I go into stores and you are sized up by color of skin, how you're dressed, as to whether or not you can spend $2,000 in their store. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you don't know what I can do. I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> and so she really didn't want to talk to me too long about the scan and cut when I asked about it. So and I'm like, you know what? You're going to have to give me a little bit more time for that kind of money. Um, and Gloria says she has that one, the CM350E. Do you like it, Gloria? Wash your hands, has to crick it and use it a lot. Brother, scan and cut is too expensive for me. I want a scan and cut class. The new one basically does everything. It was $500 without program. I bought a used one for $200. It had a learning curve, but I enjoyed it. And I'm telling you, these new ones that are out, when I was on the shop hop, I asked about it. It was way over. It was like way over $1,500. And then you got to add tax onto that. And I could get out of the taxes on it, though, being a business. But, you know, I was like, she's going to have to give me more. I need to cut myself before I spend that kind of money, okay? <laughs> Not just standing up there giving me a demo. I need to do it myself to make sure I can get home and do it. Uh, Liz, yes, indeed, the property taxes have increased dramatically. It's unreal. And they trying to say, like, I, I got my car in 2019. And every year, my personal property tax has gone up. And they're trying to say that used cars, property value has increased. Just like you all are full of crap. I already paid sales tax when I bought it. And now you all keep charging me more and more money for um, property tax. I'm so over that. I don't know what to do. Normally, when your car gets to th be three years old, you know, your taxes uh decrease dramatically it's just a way for the government to get more money because that don't make sense 
I'm coming back around to the front here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a ripoff. I had something in my mouth. Kind of. Oh, I had soup right before I came, so it's one of those seasonings. <laughs> so yeah, we'll turn all of these later. Well, we'll turn one just so we have one turn. Because <laughs> uh, I'm trying to do these assembly line style so I can do everything at one point. Um, Sheila says, I have the brother. See, that's that DX325 to myself for my, she gave it to herself for a birthday present. So that's nice. Uh, Liz Wilson says, oh, they tell my laughing at Sue. <laughs> Roslyn says, I've been saving the crown for making the crown world, but that would take me forever to make that quilt. Um, you know, you can make them bigger, but what I did was I started with my smallest bags and then you can also use the back. I haven't used any of the backs of the bag. I think I'm just going to put them in the border and, um, I haven't even decided what border I'm doing yet. I just want to get, I just have the blocks, uh, laid out at this point, but I'll probably use the back pieces in the border. And if I had really paid attention i could have just cut like 50 bags and then use the backs to make alternate blocks that didn't have crown royal on them but that's not what i did you know i wanted them all to have a crown royal in it apparently i thought about taking it a loose my piece that i my test piece i've already sewed i thought about taking it a loose but i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna do that we'll see so now, I don't have the excess sewed through these, so I'll end up closing them up, um, and then I'll sew around the edges all at one time, close them up, and then I'll be going through here just shooting them through, doing the X to uh, hold the two layers together once I'm done. So I do it just a little bit different. I did this by accident. It worked so well, I kept doing it that way. Um... Let's see. Oh, she says, yes, it's easy. Okay. And she says, has cool designs built in software. Yeah. And that's what got me was that they had some cool designs already built into that particular model. No more cutting wonky blocks and strips. <laughs> we have a 2011 truck and a 2016 CRV. Ours went up a hundred bucks. I just can't believe that I have a three-year-old car and I've never, you know how your property tax go down every year as your car, mine's is still going up. It's like, what's wrong with this picture? That's stupid. So, uh, wash your hands says California has a cap on property taxes, but we do have to pay federal and state taxes. Yeah, we pay that too. <laughs> Um, how much black back fabric do we need for our boho? Was it five or six yards? That's Darcy. I don't know. I haven't uh, calculated that. So. I have no idea. We are pinning darts again. Like I said, I had just put these together so that I wouldn't lose what went with what. But I don't have my darts uh, nestled together. So that's what I'm doing now and pinning those into position. And I'm using, I use, um, I'm using like the silk pen. So they're a little bit thinner on my darts since the darts are so thick. Um. So I don't know why I didn't pin them. Oops, that's the wrong pin. That's a pink one. <laughs> um, okay, let's pin more than one. <laughs> Since it takes a minute to pin, so 
we'll pin more than one. Tiffany says, I'm going to get going. I did too much today cleaning walls to be ready to paint. Have a great rest of your life, T. Good night. Good night, Tiffany. Thank you so much for popping in here. I'm one of those people watching after the fact on my TV um, at this point. I never know what my day is going to be like. I start out thinking I'm going to do one thing in my day and end up doing something else. So that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> and I, uh, the boho heart quilt size is on the back, I think, but I, that's not going to tell you how much yardage you need. It's 68 by 80 if you do it the size on the back of the book. That's, I think that was Darcy, yeah. So that's the size on the back of the book. So two and a half yards. No. No, you're going to, I don't know. It depends on how you're piecing it. I said 68 wide, so you need two long pieces. So 90 inches long twice. That's how much yard that you need. 180 inches divided by 36. That's how much backing you need. Just an approximate number. I added two, two extra inches just to round off the numbers. <laughs> um, I believe that they make those charges because they can. They don't explain the reasons for the increases. It's just greed. Yeah, I think it's because people are not... I don't think they're getting as much taxes as they used to get because a lot of people have decided they don't want to work, first of all. And then second, you got a lot of people that um, during COVID started their own small businesses. Uh, so everybody has a business now. And I don't think they're getting as much payroll taxes and... Um, Federal income tax, state income tax, local income tax, because people are not um, reporting 100% of everything. That's what I think. I think they're getting less money in and they got to figure out how to get some money. If you want to do an applique quilt, scan and cut is easy for cutting. Y unique design. I use images from coloring books with large pictures. Yeah, I, I do use, I used to use coloring books a lot. I made an elephant quilt from coloring book. Made a lot of stuff from coloring books, but the elephant quilt was my favorite. <clears throat> The book says five yards for the backing. Is that wrong? Whatever 90 inches twice is. Oops, I'm closing this whole hole. <laughs> I'm just going to cut this. And I'm going to have to open that up. I couldn't have ran out of thread right then, right? <laughs> Woo-wee. <laughs> It was the part of the batting where I had zigzagged the batting and still didn't see that it was uh, coming to the beginning. I was just looking at the zigzag stitching. It's like, girl, and I think this one's gonna be the same way. <laughs> um. Okay. So she said it is five yards, so that's good. 
My hubby does woodwork. I've scanned scenery and cut designs for his clocks and wall panels. So that's cool. That's from Brenda. So you all are using them. That's pretty cool. Do you think a border on the boho heart quilt would be too much busy or to or distract from the quilt? Um, I think it'll work either way. Because if the heart's on top of the bed, I think that's what's going to be noticeable if you're trying to make it like a bed quilt. I think the heart might sit up there, I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Um, and I don't think it would distract. And then the bottom of the quilt has some floater space on it, but the top doesn't. So I think it will work. That's what I'm hoping. Because I'm thinking about making mine for a bed. So that's why I was adding the float in on the egg on that um, one quill. <clears throat> um. <laughs> uh, Brenda has also uh, scanned scenery and cut out designs. I read that one. I think. Sorry. <laughs> Liz, Miss T, where do you get the 90? The book says 68 by 80. She's asking about quilt backing. And anytime you do quilt backing, you need about eight inches extra, especially if you're going to have somebody long arm quilted. And that's because we have different ways of putting them onto the frame. We got to have space to put it onto the leader, be it pin. I use uh, leader grips. They're like snap on things. You put it onto the leader so you need more space. And so I just uh, added 10, just rounded it up to 10 because it was already at 80. So I just added 10 instead of 8. And you divide 90 by 2 because she's going to need two of the 90 panels. Because the quilt is 68 inches wide. You buy 45 inches of fabric. You sew it together. That's going to be 80 for your width. <laughs> so she needs two long lengths. So that's how I got to 90. So you take 180 inches, 180 inches, and divide it by uh, 36 inches per yard. I hope that makes sense. I hope I answered your question, Liz. Yeah, she says she gets it. Okay. You can't put a, a 80... You can't buy backing 80 inches and put it on a quilt top that's 80 inches. You don't have any room for shrinkage and for getting it loaded onto the long arm. Your long arm quilter is not going to like you. I still got this uh, light over here blinking, but we're still stitching. Okay, we're back at the beginning right here. <laughs> Around this curve and stop, girl. Don't keep sewing. When you get around this corner, you just stop. <laughs> Who else talks to themselves? <laughs> All right. So that's three. Okay. I'm trying to make sure they're all different too, but I'm not sure I just did that one. That one looks the same. <laughs> Ouch. Just stuck myself. So maybe I will have to do... I was trying to do at least four. <laughs> I talk to myself all the time, right? <laughs> we always have the best answers. <laughs> I have to tell myself not to do stuff. I need to tell myself to stop finding these special places. And, and, and you already know in your head, but it's like when you're finding the special place, the rationale doesn't pop in at that time. It's like always after the fact. It's like, why can't I learn before? <laughs> 
<laughs> why can't it tell me what I'm saying? I want to put it in this special place. Uh, why doesn't it tell me then not to do that? Don't do it. I'm going to do these three. I got to make sure I have, I'm just, well, not got to, but I'm just trying to make sure that they're different. I'm not trying to make matching sets in case somebody want to claim their own bowl cozy. Then you'll know what yours look like, right? Might have somebody that's always making them dirty. And then when, every time you need one, you don't have one. <laughs> And I really like these two for ice cream. It's really cool for that. I talk to me all the time. No one else understands what I'm talking about. Exactly. <laughs> that was Liz. And Picola Chase is laughing at us. <laughs> uh, Melissa says, I talk to myself as well, but I never listen. <laughs> That is too funny. She don't even listen to herself. <laughs> All right. I think this is my third one, PN. Yes. So. All right. So we'll see what I can get out of this. I only got three more to go. What time is it? It's 913. Good Lord. Time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Um. Gloria says, so do I. It helps keep track of what we're doing. Hey, Sin Forest, she's here today saying I'll be in and out because I'm baking bread and cooking fast beans. So that's good. Dorsey is reminding people to check your thumbs up on the way out. Please hit your thumbs up button for us. It just keeps my videos in the rotation. Brenda says, the bag you're talking about with the parts is the one you was making and selling. No, because I ended up, that first one that I made, I ended up taking all of those. It was in a the bag I'm looking for with the Bernina parts. That was a different sewing machine. That was for my featherweight. The bag for the Bernina parts, unless I, no, because mm -mm, I don't have another bag. I sold all those bags. <laughs> uh, people bought the bags, and I didn't even realize that I still owed. Uh, quilters bags. Remo told me, like, when am I getting my bag? I'm like, I didn't know I owed you a bag. So, uh, so I still got to make a bag or two. So, and I got to make for my cousins the uh, cosmetic bags. I hate them things. I really do. I got to make two for my cousins. So I'm gonna do theirs first. I'm gonna send them the fabric so they can pick it out. And then I'll get those done. But I got to do two more cosmetic bags. They both like purple. So I got like probably about six to eight different purple pieces of fabric when I was on the shop hop. And they get to pick two from it. So we'll see if they pick the same fabric. They're sisters. They're adult sisters. But they both love purple as their favorite color. And they like sparkly stuff. Linda says, I went through my stash, which isn't large, and found 44 fabrics. I went and bought four different matching fabrics for my background. We'll upload my photo of all the fabrics. I'm ready to begin. Yeah, so she's ready to do the boho heart. So that's good. She just, she just joined. So I'm not sure if she's got her book yet. I think she got her book recently, but she, so that's pretty good that she's getting it done this fast. Because that's the hardest part is deciding if you're going to make it just total scrappy or if you're going to use a fabric line or fat quarter bundle or something like that. So just trying to make sure I know where I'm starting and stopping. And pulling out these pins. Um... Good night, Sea Joy Creations. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Sue says, the next time you put something in a safe place, let us know so we can remind you right. <laughs> and I had them, um, and I'm all, now that I think that, it might be in 
with my retreat projects. Maybe I need to look in that. But I thought I saw them in this room in the plastic bag. I just put it in a Ziploc bag so it would be clear see-through. This was back in uh, May of last year that I did that. Because I didn't even uh, take them for uh, the retreat that I did. All right, we got one more corner to go around here. Liz says, I hate them too. I have four cut with linings. Can't say when they will get made. Sometime in 2023. <laughs> I'm talking about the, um, I don't know if she's talking about the cosmetic bag or these bowl cozies. <laughs> I don't really mind sewing the bowl cozies, but them cosmetic bags, I think that's what she's talking about. But I made so many of them, I don't wore myself out with them bags. I sold quite a few of those bags. And uh, at first I said, well, they must be too cheap, so I need to go up. And I did keep the regular price for my family. But I'm like, I got to go up on these because I hate it. I hate it. I did for my family, let them pay regular price, but it was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. You have to get all of your batting off. When you got your dart, you got to push stuff to the right way. I'm looking for my bag of Bernina parts. I have my um, Bernina. I know I have the Teflon foot. And I probably got some kind of edge stitching foot and an open toe foot, stuff like that. That's what's in there. It was for me when I was making bags on here and I had all of my stuff. I've since gotten the brother machine. And so I don't, I don't do bags on here like I used to. I have made one, but I don't use it like I used to. But I got some bags I need to make and I need to find my part. So if I do sit here and sew like vinyl or something down, I got the right, the Teflon foot. And they got them on sale this month, but I'm like, I don't want to buy it. I already have one. Just need to find it. Or need a feed or not cheap. Now my thread. Uh, it's ran out, so that's good. And I got another spool of thread that's uh, almost gone. I need to get rid of it. So I'll put that in. And this is how much thread you have left with the Bernina bobbin <laughs> when it runs out. That's pretty good. Pretty good sensor. Yeah, see, I always wind all my bobbins at one time, and then I don't have to worry about them for a while. So I got another bobbin here. I must have, when I was making bags, I was taking them in and out and didn't put it in the case, so I didn't know it was out. So I want to get this thread off, too. <sighs> It's like the uh, thread, uh, the thread out guy didn't even want to disappear. Like, go away. <laughs> I'm trying to put this in by touch only. There we go. All right. So we were halfway around. I can take this pin out. It did stitch the dart just right past it. <laughs> we'll go back though. All right. <laughs> uh, Sandy says she loves her cosmetic bag. Yeah, I, <laughs> they, they are so beautiful and they are so useful. But the last... Like the last step isn't bad because you're just closing the bottom of the bag. But the two steps before that, 
<laughs> it's like you would beat up everybody in your um in your face. <laughs> you would become violent working on them last two steps. <laughs> <laughs> then it says, I hope you didn't put it in one of the cosmetic bags. No, if I had done that, I think most people that I sold those bags to, they would have told me. And I, I actually stuffed each bag with paper and I put like little gifts in them for them and stuff like that too. I was nice at the time. I had uh, extra stuff that I just put in the bag. So I think they would have told me. Uh, my family wouldn't have been able to even use it. And I think most of the quilters, uh, they would have sent it back to me if I had done that. I remember seeing the bag. I can't remember if it was before or after I got through, but I do remember seeing the bag like out. So I don't think it's still packed in the retreat stuff. All right. It don't even look like we're going to go around all the bags today. <laughs> One. Two. How come I got... Oh, because that one's turned. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is nine. I'm just trying to figure out why I don't have three, three, and three. <laughs> I didn't I can't even do things in a systematic way, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I have trouble counting to three. <laughs> okay. Um June says, okay, gals, I gotta go. I will see you all next week. Take care, everyone. Bye, June. Thank you so much. I did make two of them for birthday gifts. People, they know want one. I will let them know. Not soon at all. <laughs> right. And once I do them, I'm going to cut everything out at the same time. So I need to have uh, my two um, cousins pick their fabric because I cut everything at the same time. It just makes it easier. And then I can do, especially with them being both purple, I can use the same thread too. So that'll make it nice. And I had started, where is that thread thing at? It started me making all these colors a thread. This is just the Bernina. And then I switched over, you know, using different thread colors. These bobbins down here toward the bottom are filled with color. Yeah, and then I started sewing some. Um, I got bobbins on my uh, brother because then I got the brother in the middle. But yep. I am getting nasally by the minute. Now, y'all, I got a hot drink again. I think this Yeti cup trying to kill me. I didn't heat it up as much this time. I'm hoping the tea will help. Just something warm will help a little bit. Missouri weather keeps changing. Anytime it changes that 10 degrees, I'm in trouble. I had the nerve. Uh, had uh, I, Somebody wanted to rake some leaves. You know, I, I don't really like people on my property, but then it's like, you know what? If these people need to make some money, let people make some money so that they don't um, end up breaking in your car or something out of desperation. <laughs> So I let the guy go ahead and rake the leaves. And then as soon as he raked the leaves, I go down there and up under the leaves, I got green weeds. I'm like, ain't this something? <laughs> Stuff is, it was trying to grow when we had that 60 degrees or whatever, them few days. Stuff turning green. 
The weeds are not my grass. The weeds. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is the last bowl. No. Maybe I did do them in threes. Because this bowl don't have pins on the side. So I did count to three right. So I'm pretty good. I'm pretty smart. Um... And uh, Joe talking about she likes her bag too. <laughs> um, how many cozies are you making? I have nine cut right here. Uh, I can't even remember how many I made. I gave all of them away, and then I had cut a few more, and then I gave I gave them just gave them away, just being generous. Like, what is wrong with you? You already gave the girl a quill. What you got to give her two or three bowls for? But I did. I'm, no, I gave her one bowl, and then her, she had her daughters there. And then I gave the family, the daughters, one for their everybody in their household. That's what got me in trouble. And now I'm here making more. And I have mines made all with the old method. And I want to make me some with this new method that I do. But, hey, we're never going to get to that. I'm going to have to cut out more now. Linda says, what days do we usually meet during the week? I do live sewing chats on Saturday. Every Saturday, unless something comes up, I try to let it know ahead of time if I'm not going to be here. If I think I'm going to make it, then you may get it late. Um, always 8 p.m. Central Standard Time is two hours for the live sew and chat. And then on Wednesdays, I have just live chat. And that's from 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for one hour usually. Sometimes we go over. We're not sticklers for time. <laughs> uh, I do try to get off sometimes at 8 because that's the night I do watch a little bit of television. But if I go over, I go over. I just have to stay up and watch the repeat. And then on the third Saturdays of the month, I normally go with my friend Kevin the Quilter. And we do some stuff, and I'm not really sure if that's going to happen this month. I just found out uh, a boss, my boss that I, at the job I retired from, she passed away. She was 96 or 7 or something like that. I found out yesterday that she passed away last week and her services are next week and i'm uh trying to decide if i'm going to the viewing or the wake or both and if i do the services on is on saturday if i do that i may that's going to interfere with the time i'm supposed to be at kevin's house um the other option is that i could do Instead of doing Saturday sewing chat, maybe going to Kevin's house later. And then if I'm going to Kevin's house later than noon, we normally do Kevin's third Thursday at noon, Central Standard Time. And if I go late, that means I'm going to be getting home late. And I'm Kevin's like an over an hour away from me. Hour 15, 20 minutes, depends on traffic. By the time I'm coming back, it's going to be really bad on Saturday because people are going to start going out, people getting off work. And so, yeah, I may not do next Saturday night. So I haven't decided. I'm waiting to see what a friend decides to do. Both of us retire from the state and I know she's going to go to one, both or the other. So I'm trying to see what she's going to do. 
and for us to uh, uh, figure that out um, and call it a day. So that's why I don't know. Good night, too. She's got to work tomorrow. Uh, all right. If I missed a question or something, because my screen is scrolling, I'm trying to catch them. But I'm also sewing. What time is it? 9.32. <laughs> and I think um, I might stay here anyway and, you know, sew at least three or four of these things up. <laughs> uh, I got to get my mom off my to-do list. I got a bag I'm supposed to make for her, too. To give to somebody else. It's her secret sister at church. Um, she's saying she's buying a bag. <laughs> I had it cut out for the longest. Got all the hardware inside of my banana case. The label. And it's been just sitting here. Okay. <laughs> it's like I don't want to do bags. It's time to do that zipper. Okay, around the corner. The hardest part of this is, like I said, is uh, the darts. And now the hardest part is flipping them out through this little, you know, two-inch little hole because you're going around a corner. This is the last one to sew around. Yay! For <laughs> I was going to say for 2022, but, <laughs> but I didn't cooperate. I didn't do it right. <laughs> And if I make any of these in 2023, they'll be for me, I think. Um... Get this. I'm gonna drink some more. This is a big pen. That's pink. I can tell. I can't even see the color because I'm holding the grip tip of the pen. <laughs> but the needle, the uh, the thing is so long. I know what it is. All right. Something else to drink, girl. Nemo saying that their furnace is going to be replaced on Monday. Just went out. They have been working on since 10 p.m. It is good that furnace guy lives across the street. Girl, that's a lot. And, of course, it only goes out when you have it on. So, for the winter. So, you can't. It's not like it's going to go out when it's convenient. <laughs> I know he probably glad he lived across the street too so he can just go right back home <laughs> you don't have to drive
All right. At least this is the last one. Then we get to have fun playing tug of war. <laughs> I was early and now I'm late to make up for it. That's Mary. Sorry, Mary. You all think I should change the time on Saturday to 7? Sometimes the reason why I left it, because it used to be at 9. We did 9 to 11. And the reason why I changed it to 8 is because I felt like it was late for some people. And then if I change it to seven, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be home all the time at seven and especially in the summer months. I'm normally home in the winter before it gets dark. But in the summer months, I may not be home. My mom just passed on December 29th at 85. She had a lot of friends and family that attended service. I felt the love and our Lord's presence, so please go. Yeah, because I do want to go to the service. <clears throat> Funny thing is, the friends whose house I was at today, the church is right around the corner from her house. <laughs> it's like she could walk to the church. Um... And then the uh, viewing is at a funeral home that's a little bit further away, but it's all in the same area. So, and I now I was told this yesterday, and then I couldn't sleep last night because I was so sad that she had passed. Although I do know that we're all put on here, we're loaned to earth for a period of time. I do understand all of that, but it's still... I wasn't upset that she passed. She lived her life, lived a great life. I was just sad that she was no longer here. So. Um. I've had your round of allergies, so I have to take my medicine to stay afloat. And I've been trying, I've been taking Flonase, but it's not enough with the way that uh, weather is cycling over here. So I need to start back taking some other sinus meds in addition to that. I just hate to take a lot of meds because then it makes me sleepy. But I don't think I'm having a choice at this point. I think I'm giving up tonight. I'm going to take them both take my main two one and see if that works i'm not um only time i cough is when i start laughing really hard <laughs> then i start coughing and uh can't stop and my daughter has allergies too so she's experiencing the same thing when she was in the um, hospital i had to bring her allergy meds so isn't that just so pretty? I just have to close up this hole. I don't know if I'm going to put pins in them. I'm just going to turn them. I'm getting close to getting them done. Oh, it feels so good to sit down. Can anyone relate? <laughs> you over there baking, girl. Your house smell good. You probably smell good enough to eat at this point. <laughs> um, Remo says keep the time. Yeah, because it was. I don't think I would be home all the time by seven. I think that's why I was happy to do nine. Because it's like sometimes I'm out doing stuff, and I may not be here. So seven would be pushing it on some days. So uh, 
I just went to my one and only first cousin's funeral today. It's been a long, hard day. Yep. So condolences to everybody. Yep. Just never know what somebody is going through when you come across them. So that's why it's always just nice to be kind to people. Got to do one more corner. I do have a little thing over here, but these are, you know, it's bold cozies. We don't have to be all persnickety about this stuff. <laughs> so I don't use my point, my corner pointers and all that kind of stuff. We just, you know, use our hands. It's cute. I got a string here. that okay there's another string like where they come from because well maybe this is one where my thread stopped because <laughs> i'm like i didn't stop but i did <laughs> when the thread stopped i just don't know when and where okay so that's three <clears throat> put them right there <laughs> Um, saying to I wish we had smell of vision. You wouldn't believe the fragrance in this house, right? I know it smells good when you store bacon. A lot of people are giving her condolences, so you all are so sweet. I'm just not gonna read all of all of that. Good night, Rosalind. Thank you so much for popping in here. <laughs> Ugh. This one must be that one where it was real tiny. <laughs> I was about to close it up. And if it pulls the thread, it's okay because I'm going to be top stitching it. So. I'm not even worried about it popping the thread. I didn't even um, backstitch when I realized that I had um, closed it up so far. Goodness gracious. Give a girl a break. <laughs> this is the tug of war I was talking about. <laughs> it's getting there. <laughs> Sin's also reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much. Remo says she's picking sections, fabrics for section two and three of the Boho Heart. I need to, I've made some blocks, but I think I'm not going to use them in those, not all of them. I have to figure out, maybe if I take one fabric off and change one fabric on the one of the big blocks, it might, well, I can't do that because that block's made different. I don't know. I might be putting my blocks in some different order. So I might be making some new blocks. <laughs> it's basically what's going to happen. <laughs> All right. See, it says this look like a way different techniques in how I made my bowls. I'll have to rewatch the replay. Oh, that didn't come on right to see how you're making bowls. Yep. <laughs> I've read bowls. <laughs> um, not the aisle. He has been replaced. Yeah. Um, um, she's saying she's not making the aisle. Um, yeah, I am doing these a little bit different. Uh, instead of stitching the X first, it was not in this video, but it was the uh, last, the previous time that I did bowls in December. I showed the whole technique. It's not in this video because I had already started with the darts 
when I started this video, the darts were already done. I did them doing the live Zoom, I think. I don't think I did them on a live video. I did them doing the Zoom. So I already had these all ready to go. And so what I do is I sew the X afterwards, and then I don't have to worry about having the bag like this. I don't have to worry about this when it gets washed if I put an X on one. So then when I do the X after I sew it, I don't have to do two Xs. I'm just doing one X, and it works just fine. And I just, now I'm having, I'm going through here because I got one corner I can't get to. So I just, I guess my thumb don't want to go in there anymore. <laughs> So, may as well do them all since I'm in here. I guess because this is black and white, I can't see the contrast very good. And so then I get them all just sort of kind of ready to go. So when I do my little edge stitching, they're kind of ready there. Fold these little things in when I get ready. Could have put pins in them, I guess, but I don't. It's a bowl. They don't have to be 100% perfect. They need to be useful. <laughs> they need to be functional. <laughs> hey, Michelle the Quilter. Thank you, Darcy. She's reminding people to hit the thumbs up and saying that we, no, not the thumbs up. She's saying we support people. Uh, I will always believe that we are a wonderful and caring quilt family here. We always support each other as much as we can. Yes. And it's like, no matter what it is, it's like you all support each other. So that's pretty cool. Um, Yes, so blessed to have wonderful quilting communities. Yes. This is the same. No, it's not. It's got a different fabric on the inside of the bowl or the outside. It doesn't matter which one's the inside, does it? <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. I guess I should be trying to sew some of these so we can see some finished bowls. Since, <laughs> but like I said, I had showed them like in detail in my December video. How many more I got to flip? Four. Okay. Push this little starter string down in here. All right. We'll sew this one. So I'm just going to sew about an eighth of an inch from the edge. I'm going to increase the stitch length to three. It was at I'm at the point where my bag is open, trying to make sure it's under there. All right, lift up.
All right. <laughs> I'm up here concentrating. I have completely stopped talking. <laughs> and Mary says, it's because of our leader. She sets the tone. That's nice, Mary. Thank you. Uh, Linda says, I will use my AccuQuilt to cut my strips. I bought the two-inch finished die. Finish at one and a half. Is this correct? die or do I need the one and a half inch die to finish at one inch confused you need the one inch die to finish the one and a half inch die that finishes at one inch now I did see some people saying that they were going to use a uh, two inch so for every one strip they was going to make it two so I don't know how that works all the way throughout the quilt but that's what some people are going to do Oh. All right. All right, back this up. Just stitched around the outer edge and then I'll do the X. I'll just do this one so we at least get one done here today. <laughs> okay, I wanna make sure I got a back stitch here. I'm going to make sure I didn't do anything crazy. <laughs> See, if I had all of them done, I wouldn't have to break my thread. <laughs> That's why I like assembly line. I could just chain them all through. But we'll do this one. Then I got to just clip the threads on my corners and right here while I still was trying to tuck it in and I didn't get it all in there. Well, this is the underside. <laughs> okay. Those little, you know, when you use your automatic thread cutter, you have those little threads sticking up. So you have to go after those. <laughs> all right. Oops, here it is over here. All right, so, and see, you don't get any puckers. I just smooth it out with my hand as I go, sin, and then it works. Uh, and I only have to stitch that line once instead of stitching each line separate. I keep trying to pull off a string, but it's the brown fabric. <laughs> All right, so we got one completely done. <laughs> Um, I can leave it at three. It doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I stopped doing the so two X thing. I just started with my darts. <laughs> I was like, that was a waste of time. And then the bags, it, it was coming apart. And so then I was sewing an X and then I got tired of sewing the little one inch X in the middle. So I came up with, I did this by accident you know, on the live chat, running my mouth and, <laughs> and forgot to put the door uh, to sew the X before I flipped them. And then I go, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see. And it worked out and I've been never went back. I have not made one the other way since. Good night, Mary.
Betsy says, my pile of quilt tops is getting high. I just finished another top and I have, and I have to piece together three more backs. Love this hobby. So she getting stuff done. She did a lot doing, were you, I don't even know if she was on vacation, but she did a lot. Um, in the last few months, she really been doing a whole lot. Prolific. <laughs> Coming around here to that open section. Okay, put those up. Gosh, so what are you all working on? It's two minutes. Oops, my needle didn't stay down. I must have knocked it up by mistake. Didn't notice that. Welcome, Linda. I think she was talking to me. She said, oops, I asked the question on the wrong. Oh, no, I do AccuQuilt. I'm actually an AccuQuilt affiliate. <laughs> I have links in the video descriptions. The, the comment section, the, the video description, not the comment section of every video. I'm actually an affiliate, so I know the answer and you know quote related questions they're okay <clears throat> i'm gonna cut this string before i come back around I don't know why I'm so quiet sewing today. I'm like I'm in concentration mode. <laughs> um, Watch your hand says, when I make bow cozies, I use my embroidery machine and I pick an edge to edge quilt pattern. I don't use the X. That's nice too. And you know, if they didn't have these darts in them, I would have quilted fabric on my machine with the batting. But, uh, you know, then I still have to do it twice. So I still got to sew, sew something so that it's not a bag. I wish I could just quilt these on my long arm. So that's two. Go to number three. So we got a brown one, red one. So yeah, I'll do these four. And that's enough for my mom. Just trying to make sure I got all my corners out. Go in here with something round. <laughs> Okay. All 
right. <laughs> Good night, Joe Cormel. See ya, see ya. I'm going to get these four bowls, so <laughs> at least four, because that's enough for one house. <laughs> and then I can worry about the next house later. I don't even know if she knows she don't, she's missing them or what. I don't know. But she will get them. All right. Um, yeah, the the last round just went in the oven. Floors mop where I spill flour. Most of the, I don't know what that is. Stuff is done laughing out loud. Uh, Linda says, working on quilt label for my log cabin quilt so I can bind it with the binding. The quilt top is finished, so that's awesome. Claudette says she's binding an African queen quilt for my friends. Claudette, you sent me an email, and do you know that that email disappeared? Let me see if I can search for it. I clicked on it, read it, and I was in a meeting, and so then I had to come back to it when i came back to it with my messages it wasn't there but let me see if it went to i looked in delete and didn't see it but let me see if i can search for you see if it comes up somewhere in another folder okay so where what folder are you in It doesn't tell me which folder it's in, but it's not in the inbox because it's giving me that option and it's saying it moved it. So I moved it back. I put a star on it, Claudette. I'll respond to that. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Because I don't think I was on a desktop working before i went live and i'm i'm kind of tired <laughs> i'm uh done working for today i'm gonna start i don't know do some tomorrow i have so much to catch up on i'm so behind but it's like i can only do so much at a time so i'm not gonna stress myself out but is this number this is only number three. I got one more to do after this. So if anybody wants to leave, please go ahead and leave. I thank you all so much for being here today. But I got to finish at least four of these bowls. <laughs> I'm on number three. And I got to do the X on this one. I'm trying to save the X's so that I can just chain piece them through. That's the, the last step that I'm doing this way. It's the easiest part. I'm just chaining them through. I don't even have to break the thread. All right. So I do have a, you know, it's not just one more. I got to do the X's too. But, you know, hey, some of y'all are night owls just like me. <laughs> even in the different time zones is anybody watching new amsterdam i'm i just found it on netflix i didn't know it was on regular television i think nbc i actually like that show i've been uh i mean i'm on season one maybe episode 12 or something like that i'm not sure they got 24 episodes in that first season 20 something episodes. I'm not sure how many, but it's a lot. Okay. Uh, people putting in all kinds of stuff. Hold on. Let's 
Sin says she's finishing up a quote for her best friend, Darlene Choice, who passed away a year ago. Then I'll give it back to her family. That's nice. Not Darlene's choice, Darlene Joyce. Okay. Um, Michelle, the quilter says, I don't know that quilt. <laughs> so she's starting a donation throw for the ALS charity for our quilt guild is due in June. So that's nice. We're always sewing for charity. Wash your hand says, I'm stuck on making bags. I'm hooked. <laughs> um. Um, this one here I want to do. This would be the fourth one. These corners look really good. They look so good, I can't find the opening. <laughs> oh, okay. It's in a different spot. Like I... Stitch the other fabric on top, maybe. Okay, push that little thread tail in there. All right. They look so funny when they're down here flat. They just look like a lifeless nothing. <laughs> I know you all got comments. I'm so far behind. Uh, Sheila says she's working on a free quilt pattern by Tula Pink called Checkmate. Yeah, they have a lot of nice free patterns over on Free Spirit's website. Okay, bobbin ran out. <laughs> ah. All right, so now when it fill it in, it's going to last a while. Uh, Gloria says, working on a quilt for my five-year-old granddaughter, four different blocks, hearts, flowers, penguins, and rainbows, her favorite thing. So that's cool. Now we're working with a full bobbin. This one, I have to worry about this for a while, but I hate partially filled bobbins. I like to get rid of them. I do not like a partially filled bobbin. All right. Go back in here. Got it in the first time this time. All right. Normally, I would clean it, but I cleaned it before I put the two short bobbins. They haven't been in here a long time, but I'll clean it off camera anyway. All right, so we're now ready to put our X's in here, and we're going to just chain piece these through now. And I didn't do this one because I already have a brown base, so trying to make them all different for the house. Then I am gonna uh, back stitch um, on the bowls, so just like if I was doing them without chain piecing, so I don't have to worry about the X coming apart. Especially since I only got one. <laughs> And 
and that one's already done. All right, exit the other way. Okay, I got to cut the thread on this X because this is the bowl where I broke the thread and I did not go back and finish the edge. You can't do the X until the edge is done. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I did. I stitched. No, I didn't. I thought I saw stitch holes, but I didn't. <laughs> you got to finish the stitching, girl. Okay, I don't think I see holes. Okay. Okay. So we're going to cut that. I got a lot of threads to cut on this one. I can't stand hanging threads. I have to attack, attack them as soon as I see them. Otherwise, it drives me nuts. Um, I got to finish the X on this bowl. Right here in the middle. I hate that because I got a back stitch now. And I think I have one more. This one here needs an X, one side. And I'll have four. That's good enough. Yep, X. You know, I don't get to, well, I'm sewing on the boho heart, but that's it. I don't get to do any other sewing unless I'm in here on Saturday night sewing chat. So that's all the sewing I can do right now because I'm behind on everything. So when that's done, break that thread. And I can do these other ones tomorrow or the next day or whenever. <sighs> I do want to get them to my niece, but, you know, funny thing is she lives around the corner from me. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're just going to act ugly. I got a thread tail on the bottom. Of the one where I had to restart. All right. All right, so we've got four completely done that are ready to be gifted. And I have five more to just go around the outer edge and do the X. That's like another 30 minutes without looking at, no, not recording for YouTube. <laughs> 
Good night, Bray. That's my brother. I'm sure he long gone now. Uh, cutting for her boho heart, making two totes and bowl cozies when I need a change up. Yep. And that's one of the reasons I didn't mind doing the bowl cozies because when I was doing all those hard bags, these are so easy and simple to make. It was just nice to come in and do some thoughtless sewing. You don't have to worry about matching points and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, bowl cozies look great. Thank you, Michelle. And she says she's a night owl. It's 11 o'clock there. Don says, was on the other side of the room die cutting strips for boho. Liz says, Amsterdam started this time last year. It's a good show. So that's good. Don says, what is New Amsterdam about? Saw a header for it, but can't remember. It's a hospital show like ER uh, was, uh, Grey's Anatomy, but it's just a new cast of people actually pretty good i like the main character uh i like a lot of the characters but i really like the main character he actually makes the show right now phyllis g says t i've been to watch new amsterdam last weekend really that's where i got it from phyllis was you putting it on social media and when i started my daughter had to tell me that the episode had 20 something uh, the season had 20 something episodes in it because i didn't know that and i'm like i'm still in season one and she texted me today talking about that the new series is on it's season five on tv there must be somewhere else i need to go to watch season three and four because only one and two are on netflix and so she's telling me that um yeah, that I need to I need to start watching. I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. I can't watch uh Ruku and so because Ruku is in my bedroom or in my husband's man cave. It's not anywhere else in the house, not even this room. It's just a regular it got cable on it, but it's just regular cable. It's not a Ruku television. So uh, maybe I need to upgrade the television in here. So I could at least sew while I'm binge watching, right? <laughs> um, T. Barbara saying night owl ready to iron fabrics for next section. Yes. Uh, Don's still working on first session. Good night, like so, like that. Thank you for hanging in here extra time. Uh, New Amsterdam is on this final season oh my gosh i hate that when i'm coming up on something and it's the final season so and i definitely don't want any spoilers and that's probably why my daughter was telling me i need to get watching Uh, Becky Bramlett has been listening the whole time and just had to say New Amsterdam is very good. Yes. <laughs> cool girl says Netflix has a good show, Jenny and Georgia. Only two seasons so far. Okay, so that's nice to know. Go to that one after. But it's going to be a while for this New Amsterdam all these seasons. Jason says, see you at Gil. Good. Bye, Jason. See you soon. And Phyllis G says, I have to find three and four also. It's on another uh, pay TV site. I have to ask my daughter, uh, Phyllis, and send it to you. But yeah, she was the one that was telling me talking about season five on regular television. She said, you need to read, uh, go get over there and get caught up so you can be ready and get this on the regulars. I'm like, girl, okay, okay. <laughs> Except that she keeps calling me. And having me come run and do this and do that. <laughs> Which I don't mind, but that means I can't watch it either, okay? <laughs> Grandbaby is fine. Had she's uh she was five pounds, thirteen ounces, and then they lose their first baby weight because they poop everything out. And I think she went down to five pounds nine ounces she's just a little tiny thing and she was not a premature so i mean she wasn't a preemie and uh she's now six pounds eight ounces so she's eating everything she's an eater just like her mom 
So she's gained over a pound from the initial weight that she lost from her pooping her first 24 hours. <laughs> it's been a very nice coming in and out and visiting with everyone. Good night, Miss T and all. And Zandra's also saying good night. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to go and say good night. I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. I guess I need to go watch at least a couple episodes of New Amsterdam since it's late and uh, put myself in bed so I can get a break. Because, I, like I said, I was at the computer from the whole time I got home from the meeting till it was time for us to start. So I will see you all. Be back tomorrow with the same old, same old in my schedule. See you all on Wednesday live chat at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah, I don't buy any of these streaming channels, uh, Becky, because uh, I'm under my daughter's plan. I don't buy all that stuff. But I'll see you all. You all stay blessed. Be safe and quote out everybody. <laughs>